Tonight, the tortured story of a family in Queens trying to figure out how and why their son and their brother, an Army veteran, died in police custody in Pennsylvania. 14 months ago, he was driving back home when he stopped at a police station to try to clear up an old summons. And that's where he died, in jail. Now his family on a mission to find out what happened. Here's Josh Einiger. It's been 14 months of sorrow, of pain. It's, it's devastating. You know, our family is devastated. But after all this time, Dwayne Palmer is no closer to an answer, no closer to knowing what happened to his brother Everett. You vacillate between depression, anger, uh, for uh, quest and thirst for information. 41 year old Everett Palmer was a Queens born father of two, an army vet. On April 7th of last year, he presented himself to the police in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, on a warrant for a past drunk driving case. They arrested him on the spot. But after two days at the York County Prison, he died in custody. I haven't seen a case with more unanswered questions than this one. Family attorney Lee Merritt says the Palmers have waited long enough. They do have an autopsy report, which suggests Palmer was somehow high on meth, even after two days in jail, and needed to be restrained. As for the manner of death, that's still undetermined. Where's the narrative? When are you going to tell this family who's been waiting for 14 months what actually happened? And they're not looking for someone to blame. They're looking for answers. But the coroner says the Palmer family won't be getting those answers anytime soon. Justice in central Pennsylvania, she says, will not be rushed. We are in an era where people see a TV show and they think it's solved in an hour and they think that's how this works. But this is not how this works. My mom had five children. She now has four children. And we have no credible explanation as to why um, her second child, Everett Palmer Jr., is no longer with us. The district attorney in York County, Pennsylvania, has jurisdiction over this case. His office told me tonight they'd have no comment because of an active investigation. But 14 months into that investigation, Everett Palmer's family wonders how much longer they'll have to wait.